All right, Elisa, take me through your day. What have you been going on? What's been going on? Um, I came to the track at like 9.30 um, to do the long jump. Um, and I did that, and then I proceeded to go to the 100, which was a little behind, at 110. And then I came to the high jump at like 145 and jumped. Last week you had a, uh, a 29 jump that you, you fouled, though. Were you expecting a big jump like that, or did that um, get surprised to you? This, at this meet, I was kind of just coming off of obviously two PRs, so lifetime PRs, so I just wanted to like go into it and just kind of have fun. Um, still recovering from those meets, it's like a lot on you. So I did pretty well, 19.9 and some change, and then my end jumps I fouled, I think I fouled two over 20, and then I fouled my last one, which was, would have been 21 and a half if I hadn't fouled, because I had him measure it. And I was like, can you measure that? It looks kind of far, I want to know. And then he was like, oh, 20, like 21 and a half. And I was like, oh, it's okay though. I was so <laughs> close. But now I know that I just need to like change my foot placement. It was about that and I knew it and I'm aware of it now. So I'll be ready. Now long and high, which one do you like better? Um, right now they're pretty even. Last year I liked long jump better. I was doing better in long jump and I was having like kind of back to back PRs. But then this year I went the last meet, obviously, I had a PR and high jump, and that was super fun. So it kind of just goes back and forth. It just depends. I like them both pretty equally. <laughs> Heading into the rest of the season, which one are you going to focus on more? Um, I try to go, I try to focus on each one of them at different meets. So some meets I'll just long jump, and then some meets I'll just high jump. It's just this meet, it's in San Diego, so I was like, I should probably do both of them. Especially because I'm from San Diego, so <laughs> um, I wanted to show out and just support San Diego. But um, I'll be focusing on both of them. I take different days to practice each one of them. So yeah, it's just taking one mindset away from it and then going to the next event and just kind of moving on like that. Is it more your decision, coach's decision, how you're feeling in the morning when um, you wake up? My coaches definitely, we go out there and want to do both. Um, it depends day to day, um, long jumps first, sometimes high jumps first. It just kind of depends. It's mainly up to me, like my coaches support me in both. And if I want to do one one day and not do the other, they're totally okay with that. It's all about like senior year having fun, keeping my legs fresh, so yeah. Heading into future weeks, uh, what's going to be your biggest difficulty in long and high? Um, definitely long jump getting my foot placement under my body instead of a little bit out in front, that's what's like causing me to scratch. And then high jump, probably um, getting my mark perfect and running it perfect every time. Moving forward to the next couple weeks, you know, we have some big meets coming up. What are you, what are you running? Um, I'm going to be going to Arcadia and that's in a few weeks, I believe. And I'm going to be doing high jump, long jump. And then I think I'm running also the 100, but I'll have to see, I'll have to check. Um, and then Mount Sac, I'll be going to that too. And then state to end it off in the big invites and stuff.